How's it going, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review from 2021's Wave 12. And this one is going to be really cool. This is actually the last one I had to review from this wave. So I guess you could say better late than ever. But if you guys are a big fan of this guy, then get ready because I have a lot more Diecast to review. Because I will say, this is probably uh, one of the most uh, underrated and very uh, overlooked paint schemes. But I think this one looks really nice. This is on Kevin Harvick's 2021 Mobile One uh, Patriotic Ford Mustang for Stuart House Racing. So like I said, I picked this car up at Walmart or Target. I can't really quite remember, but you can get them at these two places. Um, but yeah, you see right there, this is, uh, I guess you could say, the last good wave of 2021. I'm going to ignore wave 13 because, you know, I don't really you know, like the PTC mold. So the last good wave of 2021, and we're on ending off with a, uh, you know, pretty much of a positive note, even though, I mean, you could definitely say, you know, <laughs> Kevin Harvick hasn't really had the best uh, seasons like these last few years. But still is a really cool paint scheme, guys. Um, I do like uh, this nice, unique spin of the Mobile One, uh, the primary Mobile One car, but it has um, some nice little uh, features to it, which we'll get to in a second but uh really nice guys i really do like that they uh you know added some nice details to this uh very basic scheme like originally was but getting onto the back of this you see right there there's all the licensing so that way you know sponsors don't get pissed off and start suing lionel <laughs> anyways let's go kick off the tie cast from the official unboxing of kevin harvick's 2021 mobile one patriotic car and alrighty, guys we got this die cast i was boxing where things started let's look at the nice free accessory i cannot stress that enough how free these things are but it is a nice sticker that you get right here i mean very high quality so high quality that this thing will literally like probably shred like a piece of paper but yeah nice little flimsy sticker and um it's actually has a white uh back compared to the way 13 cars which apparently they have like a yellow pack uh yellow back but whatever though i mean way 13 is already crap as it is but um yeah i'm trying it looks like we got a dent right there but that's probably just me just trying to take these things out because like i said these things are flimsy little suckers um wish we go back to magnets but you know everything costs so much now so lionel's gotta be cheap with that stuff but at the end of the day it's just a sticker so it is what it is back to the die cast guys let me just say i mean if you guys love your patriotic pain schemes this one's really cool. I mean, if you guys are familiar with the classic Mobile One scheme that Kevin Hart has been driving with the uh, with the black, um, I mean, this still has some resemblance of it with the uh, you know the the black base and then you get base the black primary base and then you get like the gray metallic flames. But this one actually has a lot more, I guess you say, uh, pizzazz to it. You know what I mean? I mean they, I mean first of all and foremost, they brought back the freaking Pegasus, man. I, you know me, it's not a Mobile One car without Pegasus. By the way, can you guys count how many times there was Mobile One on this car? I mean, you see this right there. There's mobile one logos littered all over this car. So if you guys can guess, then I guess you are, um, I guess you are going to be a great lad. Speaking of not a great lad, we do get ourselves a crooked, uh, we, that is crooked. That is crooked. That is crooked. That is a crooked, uh, decal. <laughs> <laughs> look at that tail light that thing is completely shifted holy christ dude i mean someone didn't use a leveling machine i mean my lord <laughs> wow that's uh that's uh yeah that's a lionel moment say the least and look at this we got air bubbles and all sorts of decal issues uh decal residue i mean five dollar quality is finest am i right <laughs> Oh my lord, and see right there, this thing is just completely littered with quality issues. But then people are going to be like, why'd you get this if there's quality issues? Because it's five bucks, I'm a cheap ass, and you know, you guys like, I guess you guys like me, you know, complaining and nickering about diecast, so I guess that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty typical when you have, you know, um, with these Gen 6 cars, I mean, but hopefully Gen 7 things are going to look a lot better. By the way, thank you guys for uh, for the turnout on those Gen 7 reviews, guys. Those were really cool. I mean, I don't have any more to review, but I will be getting some very soon, uh, especially if I plan on going to Atlanta next month. But, um, back to what I was trying to say about this car, guys. Um, okay, so if you guys were bored of the Mobile One scheme, then no, look no further because they absolutely did a complete overhaul on this one-off paint scheme that he drove at uh, the 2021 Coca-Cola 600. Um, which, you know, that I will admit that race was pretty freaking boring compared to this year's Co-600. Holy Christ, that thing was just on. Talk about a roller coaster acid trip. That shit, man. I mean, I don't mean it literally, but my God, that shit was some exciting crap. Um, I do also notice as well, there was a blue outline where the Goodyear logo is right there. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if that's a um, that's something we haven't had done before, but I found that pretty cool. I mean, we got the Honor Remember tires and the NASCAR Salutes logo, but of course, this is the NASCAR Authentics version, so it has a white uh, interior and no window banners, which sucks because I think this would look great with the window banner. But they do offer this in the Gold Series as well, so if you guys really want those window banners, then I guess that's uh, that's your choice. Uh, when you got some decal overlapping that's getting into the cockpit. Huh, never want to say that. So, you know, uh, never want to say that ever again. <laughs> but I like what they did. 
I really do like what they did with this paint scheme, guys. I mean, so they basically got rid of that uh, metallic uh, gray, like, silver finish. And they basically just sighed, all right, let's get this car looking like uh, like America, baby. So, you know, they put, you know, the blue flames with the stars on it, which is pretty cool. I mean, I can't stress enough. They brought back the Pegasus, man. Every time I look at this Pegasus, it, it, it's already a, a, a great Mobile One car. I'm still waiting for, uh, you know, Stuart Haas or someone to do a Dawn's throwback on uh, Jeremy Mayfield's Mobile One car because every time I see the Pegasus, I just think of that car and someone needs to do a throwback of that car, guys, because it's so iconic. I mean, well, iconic in my childhood. I don't know if how iconic it is for you guys, but my lord, and we got a warped four right there, very curvy looking four. Kevin Hart's name is literally about to touch the window net, so the decaling uh, process on this car really absolutely gets a big F for, uh, I guess fuck you then <laughs> because lionel just says all right give us money screw you we're gonna give you a screwed up car regardless of what you want but i like how they kind of like tear now i'm not the biggest fan of collaborative paint schemes but this one really works guys they kind of like i guess you could say lionel like, like tore part of uh the the, the black uh because usually this is all black right here but they kind of like i don't know kind of gives it like a nice ripped effect like if you're like tearing apart something like tearing apart like a shit like a like a like a, they think think of the black a base like a like a sheet of paper and they're like ripping it apart and underneath it, it looks like there's like uh, red and white stripes, which I like. That's pretty cool. It makes this car look really uh, badass, guys. I like that with the Mobile One logos right there. Um, I don't think Mobile One really gets enough credit for their paint schemes, guys. I mean, Bush always gets overlooked at as, you know, for their amazing paint schemes, which I got to admit, Bush still has great paint schemes. And that's the main reason why, you know, uh, Bush does that because they want to get talked about in the garages. But mobile one man i must say I've, I've been very impressed with their paint scheme especially last year guys with the uh the gold mobile one car that we had that he ran a coda and then we got this car that he ran the co 600 um this is really cool guys uh in the mobile one uh summer uh, road trip car and, and it's drawn to throwback so mobile one man they, they, they i think let me just say i might not be the biggest fan of kevin harvey but i think i got the most die cast from him from 2021 because there was just so many great paint schemes and this one right here is no exception uh, besides the quality issues of course but just my lord i mean you can't go wrong with this guys if you guys love kevin harvick and your patriotism then this is probably the best die cast that you can get from him because this right here just looks really cool some people might think it looks tacky but i think it looks cool guys i mean uh but looking at this year's guys the 2022 card looks really cool they kind of uh, went back with the white base and um they added you know the patriotic designs to that so kind of cool that they're going back to that i'm um, looking forward to see what that's going to happen for 2022 but let's get on to the side comparison of the original mobile one card which um we, we, which we've had this car released like so many times now we had a race win um and then we had like two different versions or three different versions of this car coming out so the mobile one car you know has been here for you know for uh, quite a while now let's just say that but as you guys can see we do uh got ourselves you know big difference like i said with the flames looks pretty cool um and kevin Harvey actually ran pretty decent in this car at the, the co 600 i think he got like a top 10 or so but um wasn't really like dominant because that was mostly just hendrick motorsports or well, <clears throat> kyle larson mostly throughout the whole race but just do just so much better i think this looks so much better um if you notice that they, they kind of uh they kind of like simplified the paint scheme and they did it i mean i think it would look kind of cluttered if they continued uh um where this gray is and they filled it with blue i think it looked a little cluttered i mean i kind of like how it's separate with the paint scheme plus the mobile one colors um are red and uh, are red and blue so it kind of goes well with the paint scheme guys it really does i mean just kind of shows you that you know just mobile one really knows how to show support with their uh with their troops with these patriotic paint schemes and this one in particular is no exception uh this side's pretty much mostly the same but we got a different mobile one logo but look how much you see what i mean guys look how crooked that tail light decal is my god that is awful <laughs> I couldn't make that as a rant review, but don't worry. I mean, I think I have another one that's due for y'all very soon. Um, could be a Wave 13 car, but we'll see. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up right here. I definitely, like I said, recommend picking this diecast up if you're a big Kevin Hart fan or if you love Patriotic Paint Schemes. This is a cool diecast to get, in my opinion, guys. Probably one of my favorite Mobile One cars that we got from him in 2021. I mean, it's been really hard to tell which one has been the which uh, to get, but I think this one is pretty cool. And, you know, it's at affordable price as well, so it's not like you're breaking the banks. But anyways... Uh, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. As this is going to wrap up the diecast review of Kevin Harvick's 2021 Mobile One Patriotic Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB. See you guys next time on another fantastic diecast review. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.